I had to mark them. I can't believe I, I marked, I think, another <laughs> chapter, but I read ahead. I don't have to read the rest of the book now to you because I already finished it, so. Yeah. Some people know where I live. <laughs> I better not do that. Mark, Mark, are you all right? It was Mike. Mark looked up and saw his brother, not quite believing his eyes. He pushed John's body off of him and stood up. He was still a little dazed, and he staggered some. Mike grabbed him by the arm to steady him. Mark saw the saw Bullseye lying on the floor with two bullet holes in his chest and a red circle slowly spreading in the carpet underneath him. Mark, are you okay? His brother asked again. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. What happened? Is everyone okay? Did you get everyone out of the shed? Yes, everyone's out of the shed, and the two guys outside are dead, Mike answered. Mark could tell he was holding something back. Mike just called from the back of the house as if on cue. Is everything okay? Can we come in? Yes. Everyone rush, rushed in. Jess wrapped her arms around her husband like she hadn't seen him in years. She pulled back to look in his eyes. Did you tell him, she asked, looking over at her brother-in-law. Tell me what, he asked. David got shot, Mike confessed. He's going to be okay. They just got him in the arm. I took him straight down to the clinic, and Lisa said the only problem is that they re-damaged the arm the dogs tore up. That's why it took me so long to get back here. Mike took a deep breath. Why aren't you down there? Mark asked his wife. I sent your mom. You're going to need my help with the hundred attackers from the church. Mark had almost forgotten about the MZBs John had called in on the radio. That's right, we've got to go. There's more bad news, Mike added. George is dead. What happened? I followed Dave and the two MZBs to Gunny's house. The MZBs made David knock on the door, and George answered it with a pistol in his hand. He dropped it when they saw they had David covered, and he took them to the garage. He lit a propane lantern that lit up the whole garage and backlit the two gangsters. I think he must have known I was there from the way he set it up. I had great shots at them. I was just starting to squeeze on the first one when George tried to jump him. I couldn't shoot with George so close. I heard George yell for David to run, and David was making a beeline for the door when the other one shot at him. David went down, and I moved my sights over to the other MZB and shot him. In the meantime, the first one wrestled his gun free of George's grip and killed him before I could get back on him. I'm so sorry. This was the first time Mark had seen Mike upset since he'd arrived. Mark patted his brother on the back. Don't be too hard on yourself. George was real sick. No one knew, but he only had a few weeks to live. That's probably why he tried the hero stuff. Now listen, we've got a big problem. There's a hundred MZBs on their way here right now. We've got ten minutes if we're lucky. Let's go. What about him? Mike asked, pointing at John. What about him? Forget him. Mark wanted to use another word that started with F, but the children were in the room. No, I mean, he's still breathing. Mark was shocked. He put his finger on the Cretan's neck and found a strong pulse. He thought he'd killed John, killed John, but evidently he'd only knocked him out. 